Okay guys, so one of the main reasons why web designers use Elementor is because it's so easy to use and you can easily translate what you have in your mind onto the Elementor canvas. So if you wanted the hero section here, I can simply add a full width container. And then if I wanted to add three icon boxes underneath, all I need to do is add another container with three different columns. And I can even break this down even further by adding an inner section. So that's why this is one of the most used page builders because it's so intuitive and so easy to use. So what if we could turn Gutenberg into a page builder like Elementor with containers and flex boxes and all of that for free? Wouldn't that be something? Okay, so let me show you. Very good, and for this, all we need to do is install one single plugin. So we go to plugins, add new. In the search box, look for Spectra. So there it is, right on top. And this is by Brainstorm4. So if this sounds familiar, this is normal. These are the developers of the Astra theme as well. So this is why, okay? So click install now and then activate. And there you go. Once this is installed, you'll be redirected to this page here and you can create a new page directly from here or you can go to pages and add a new one. Okay, so let's click on this. Very good. So normally from here, you type your title. So let's say test page. Okay. And then underneath, you would normally add your blocks. So if you click on this, this is the confusing part. Every time I used to work with uh, Gutenberg, I never knew how to add stuff, divide them into sections and containers and all that. So now you'll be able to do so thanks to the Spectra add-on. So if you click on the plus sign here, or either this one or this one, both the same, you know, as you can see now, part of the Spectra add-ons, we have the container. And this is what's gonna help us to actually build our pages just like with Elementor. So if you click on container now, as you can see, you can select among all these different layouts. So let's say if I wanted to do the same thing we just did in the intro, if I wanted to add a hero section, I click on this section here. There you go. Now it's been added. If I wanted to add another one, maybe three columns underneath. There you go. I'll add those three. Okay. And now we can break this down even further. If I click on the plus sign here, we can use columns this time and divide that in half. And I can do the same with this one. And then this one. And now we have the exact same result, the exact same layout as what we created using Elementor. So as you can see, super easy indeed. So now if I wanted to remove this, I just click on the top, just remove it. Okay, remove the whole container. And then we can add more if we wanted to. So I'll click the plus sign, container. Let's say I want to add another three columns maybe. There you go, and it looks like this. And now if you click on the whole container, by the side, we have all these different options here, as you can see, okay? So let me just remove myself. So first, we have our inner container preset. So as you can see here, this is the container itself. So if I click on this, there's no changes done. If I click on this one, as you can see, this one will be contained within a container, okay? This, the, the whole structure. This one will add a bit of shadow effect and this one a little bit less. So these are presets, basically, that you, you can use. And then underneath, we have the container itself. And then you can set the container width. Is it full width or is it boxed or perhaps custom? If it's custom, you can set the full width that you want, basically 100% or maybe in pixels, maybe 1200%, whichever you prefer. And then we have underneath, we have the content width. So this is basically either boxed or full width. If it's boxed, you can set the width as well and the maximum height. So if we take our hero section here, for instance, this would be a handy feature because maybe you want the minimum height to be, for instance, 500 pixels or something Thing like this you know or perhaps you want a vertical height to be maybe 75 percent of your screen or something like that you know so again these are the exact same features you would find in elementor except here they are used with gutenberg now with Spectra, you get all these different blocks as well that you can use. So we have the container that we just discovered. We can use a heading, an image, a call to action, an info box, buttons, block quote, a content timeline. And as you can see, a very nice touch is that you have a quick preview of what it looks like. So you don't even have to wonder what it looks like. It's right there for you with a nice overview. You have the counter, a form, icon list, and so on and so on. As you can see, a very comprehensive selection. So let's just add an image here, okay? So we're gonna add an image. Very good, so let's select our own image. So let's upload a new one. So let's use this one here. So let's click open. Now, if you click on the container itself, we can go back here and set this to full width because this is basically our hero section. So let's click on full width 
There you go, as you can see, this is taking the full width and you can set the minimum height of 75% or whichever value you prefer, obviously, you know. And right here underneath, we have equal height, which is a very handy feature as we shall demonstrate. So this, by the way, is not included with Elementor, but you get it for free with Spectra. So let's use this maybe for this section here, okay? So let's create three icon boxes. So there you go, as you can see, I have three info boxes now, but they're all of different heights, so that doesn't look good, obviously, you know, this one is a bit farther up, this one down, and this one on top, so this is not really nice to look at. So if we use the equal height in just one click, look at this, boom, it's all organized for us and done automatically. And again, this is for free here, all included, it's not even part of Elementor, you know? So if you scroll down the page, you will find something even more amazing, is the flex property. So again, here with this, you can organize your content exactly the way you want it. So as you can see at the moment, it's centered in the middle, but perhaps you want to align this to the top. So just use this, or maybe in the middle, like we had, maybe at the bottom, or maybe expand it fully, to the full height of your container and then you have the direction as well the justify content and how you wrap the content itself so this is basically the exact same features that you would find in elementor so if you go back here as you can see let's convert this one to the new flex container so convert if i click on any of them as you can see you have all these different options and that's basically what you have you know you have direction justify content align content and also the wrap which is exactly what we have here built in into gutenberg thanks to spectra and now hello i'm back again so you have also the style in advance which was badly needed before you know because before that uh, using Gutenberg, you couldn't really uh, customize much, you know, now you have the style feature as well. If you click on this, as you can see, we have the background type, you have the color, you have the border, you have box shadow, shape dividers and spacing. So all of these are readily available to you and you can customize them right here exactly the same way you would normally do with Elementor. So if you go into style, as you can see, you have the background color, background overlay, the shape divider and so on. This is exactly what we have here. And then we have the advanced features as well. So the very first one is the display condition. So this is normally not built in into Elementor and yet you have it here with Spectra. So you can select here user state, user role, browser, operating system. So let's say if your web browser is uh, Google Chrome that it will display or if it's a uh, Firefox it will display so if you're using Google Chrome you will not see this section or the other way around okay so these are handy features that you might want to use we have the responsive conditions again hide on desktop on tablet or mobile and this is the exact same you would find here in Elementor if you go to responsive mode you have hide on desktop tablet or mobile so this has been implemented here as well you have the Z index and the advanced feature as usual uh, where you can add CSS classes and HTML anchor and that's basically it for all the features now let me show you something else so basically you can create everything from scratch if you want to or you can basically create a page using the template kit so let me just empty this page all together so we have our test page and right here on top if you want a bit of help to save you a lot of time as well you can use the template kits so click on this and right here you're presented with different templates ready-made templates that you can use so these are all pages that you can import immediately onto your website and you can select them by theme or by type of industry that you're in and etc etc so this is an easy way for you to save a lot of time and import content and all you have to do basically is tweak it afterwards another option is to use patterns so what are patterns well basically these are ready-made sections that you can import on your website and then you can tweak them uh, to your own preferences and based on your customers requirements so as you can see we have about us call to action clients contact us uh, faqs etc etc so let's say if you were to click on call to action you have all the different options here so you could insert this on your page and all you have to do is click import and it will import that on your page all together and then we have wireframes as well so here basically this is roughly the same principle as patterns except you have no text and no images so this will help you to be more creative all together okay and also by the side you can select among two different types you have dark mode and light mode as well so again depending on your mood and the type of website that you're building you can select one over the other 
install let's go ahead with dark mode perhaps and let me show you how you can easily create a brand new page from scratch in just a few minutes so let's go to patterns okay so first we want obviously to add our hero section so let's click on hero let's select one of them okay so perhaps this one here like this okay so let's click import very good so now let's add another one underneath so perhaps on about a section so let's select perhaps this one here very good so next let's add maybe a quick services section so this time we could select maybe a different background to break the pace a little bit so let's add this one very good and then let's add perhaps a team feature as well so we can show how many people are working in our company so perhaps this one here with all the social links very good and then finally we're going to add our footer section and for this we might select a location and hours as you can see you could have the map at the bottom uh, to give people directions to your premises perhaps okay so let's import this one and there you go so that's us basically done already you know so if you scroll back up we can now tweak things around and make them a little bit better obviously you spend a bit more time but as you can see we spent less than 60 seconds here and we have the main frame, the main structure of our homepage done already. And if you want to save even more time, we can import a full page all together. So let's start afresh with a blank new canvas. Very good. So now let's click on template kits again. So let's scroll down the page and find something that's suitable for us. So let's go maybe with this one here. As you can see, all of these are available. So pick the one that's suitable to your project. So let's go ahead with this one here that's called Learn Baking. Let's click on it. And as you can see, you can select among different pages. So you have the contact page, you have the about us page, you have the courses page, you have the home page. So let's say we want to import this one here, okay? All we have to do is click on this button here, import home page. And there you go. As you can see, the page has been imported for us and it looks absolutely fantastic. Now, obviously, you can tweak this around, change those images, change the content, uh, the text and everything uh, to reflect your customer's requirements. But basically here, you can save a lot of time and have a very professional result the same way you would do while using Elementor, but here completely for free using Gutenberg. So there you go, guys. This is how you can turn Gutenberg into a page builder like Elementor. Now, if you'd like to find out if you can connect ChatGDP to WordPress or WooCommerce, generate money from it and create content automatically, maybe you want to go and watch this video here.